this is literally where the problem is. I have to accept that I'm not 25. Hello, it's Bruce here, the amateur footballer, and this is more of a, is this a rant? I don't know if this is a rant. Um, it's just probably more of a frustration on my behalf. All right, so this was supposed to be a podcast, but the podcast platform that I use for some reason isn't working on my phone. So I thought, you know, before I, I kind of get over my little rant and my little frustration, let me just pull it out as a video and just, and just say it. <clears throat> injuries, 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 injuries. A couple of weeks ago, I was playing and, and I came off injured and and it's, uh, this is an ankle injury and I know you know I'd say 10 like years ago an injury like this wouldn't really affect me as much as it's doing now see this is how the brain and the body just don't work so in my brain it's saying you can carry on playing you can play tomorrow, you can play to, you know, the next day. You can run, you can sprint, you can do everything that you that you want to do. But my body is saying something completely different. And that's the issue. I have to accept that I'm not 25. I have to accept that I'm not 30. I have to accept that the but my body needs to rest when it comes to injuries like this. And this is the whole frustration and frustrating part about how I'm feeling. Yes, I know playing grassroots football isn't the be all and end all. I know that, but football's been in my life since, I don't know, I mean, hey, that's the only thing that I, what I can truly say is my passion, apart from, of course, video and video marketing, etc. Football is, you know, my true, true passion. And knowing that these little niggling injuries can take a toll on my body, my confidence, knowing that I can't play physically every single game because of this injury now, it's it's really, really frustrating. It's, you know, you... I have a personal trainer, so now, everything that I do now has to be geared towards making sure that my ankle is a-okay. You know, if it was an arm or or a back injury, possibly could have been okay. But because it's your ankle, you know, you you know, you're putting your weight. You know, you're walking, you're running. You know, my kind of day-to-day -day life is is with the family. So you know, I don't want to be you know two three years down the line and still having these issues now because you know it's not fair on my kids it's not fair on me as well yes i have played with injuries before i've played with with kind of hamstring ham, hamstring pulls um purely out of the love for the game and am i suffering now a little bit yes you know it takes me longer to recover i have to stretch out properly if i don't then i know um i'm going to suffer the same fate but I think it's just for me it's just realizing that you know I can't play every single day um, I know I'm you know in terms of my kind of physical condition 
it's decent um, it can be a lot better and you know I still try and play five aside um, and I feel I can still do a job 11 aside as well but when injuries set in mentally it does take it out of you especially when you're when you're new to a team or when you're new to an environment you know you want to embed yourself as quick as possible you want to you want to show the new guys and you probably even want to prove things to yourself that you've kind of still got the ability to kind of play at whatever level that you see fit I couldn't have played last week anyway because it was my daughter's birthday but even if it wasn't my daughter's birthday knowing I still couldn't physically play still made me sick um, or not even just play just be involved um, and you know it's all good that the you know that the team's winning um, kept a clean sheet as well so when I when I do feel that I'm fit enough to kind of get back it's going to be a it's gonna, you know it's going to be an uphill uphill challenge again physically mentally um, for, for myself um, and just now I think knowing and I think this is the first time I'm probably even admitting this is that knowing okay you know what my brain is saying one thing but I have to listen to my body I have to listen to my to my body because playing as a defender you know it's always been for me that one-to-one -one personal battle if I win my personal battle then first and foremost I know I can come off the pitch and say okay you know what I've done a decent job and you know, if I can't win my physical battles with with strikers, wingers, then then I know that's going to affect me. Um, so you know, I have to make sure that I come onto the pitch mentally ready and physically knowing that my body's going to take a battering. Fair enough. I mean, the the injury itself wasn't self-inflicted it was you know it was a late challenge um i you know i got the ball so it wasn't as if i just broke down you know it was a it, for me it was a very very nasty challenge you know, almost a leg breaker um so you know i'm kind of you know really really happy just to come out with just a slight ankle injury but still, my brain is saying I could play on and I could play the next day and run and jog. But my body is saying no. And it's just coming to that realisation. So, probably more comments for like you guys really in terms of any injuries that you guys have faced and how you guys have kind of come back from it. Um... There is a game this Saturday. I don't, I think it's Kingsdale or Kingsbury. I'd have to check. Um, I know I won't be ready, but my head is saying I will be ready, but my body is saying no. So that's something I have to contend with and, and fight for the rest of the week, which is going to be hard. Absolutely going to be hard. But, um, you know, I'll be there to support the guys if it's physically or mentally. I'll be there, you know, support, supporting the guys. Um, and, yeah, that's about it, really. I have really nothing else to say. So, uh, but, yeah, I'd kind of love to hear your comments and any stories about any injuries that you guys have had and, and how you've kind of come back from them. Yeah. Thanks for watching.